Life and Death ability is overpowered as my contender for the best comedy anime of the year. Granted, we only three months into this year, but this show is pretty funny. Now, it is a new gen anime, so the title should just spell it out for you. But if it didn't, you know, it's about a high school kid with a busted ability that lets him one shot anyone or anything. Hence why the title of the show is My Instant Death Ability is Overpowered. So if you like shows like One Punch Man, Mob Psycho, and Kono Suba, you know, I would really recommend this anime because I think it fits right up that alley, honestly. So we start this one out with a little boy absolutely wreaking havoc in the government facility. I'm talking about bodies everywhere. So as the chaos ensues and my boy's just dropping bodies, you know, he's over there asking like, where's Asaka san which is his caretaker by the way, you know, he's just asking like, where is she? So as he's doing this, the door opens up and it sees this lady being held at gunpoint, which so you can safely assume the person with the gun to the head is Asaka. And the girl with the gun to Asaka's head is pretty much telling the dude like, yo, if you move, I'm finna turn her cabbage into coleslaw. So upon hearing this, he just absolutely melts her brain. Like he just shows her the eldritch truth. I, I don't know what exactly he does, but bro, she just drops. So like as the title says, he has an OP kill ability, but you don't understand how OP this kill ability is unless you actually watch the rest of this because it's actually crazy what this man can do. So after that flashback, you know, we we go to him getting woken up on the school bus by the Denora son over here, which is our fucking side character. And uh, he just wakes up to absolute carnage. And she's just like, how did you sleep through all this carnage? Like, this man's getting impaled back here, and she's just dead. Anyway, so after bro just fully wakes up, you know, the wyvern starts to attack, and he just melts his brain again. Like, it, it, like no biggie. Just straight up melts his brain. Yeah, and this is why I love your gear, right? Because this nigga just pulls, just straight up melts somebody's brain with a lackadaisical attitude, and just starts playing the switch. Like, it's honestly amazing. So the Nora pretty much tells him how they came there to be. They was on the field trip, and then they got a sick as soon as they went through a tunnel. On the other side of the tunnel was a meadow, you know, just straight greenery, everything looking beautiful, but you know, they kind of freaked out wondering where they are. Now, as everybody's freaking out, this girl walks on the bus, and she introduces herself as Sion, and she's a sage, pretty much saying, like, she's a top dog around these parts. And to show you how much of a top dog she is, you know, this bus driver speaks out of turn, and she just absolutely blows his brains out. Like, it, I, for no reason, she just blows his brains out. You know, and this is where the comedy element comes in, because she announces that she has 530,000 power, and, like, nobody laughs. That alone is worth a few chuckles, like, you know, haha, ha, you know, she referenced those video games as, well, I got, like, an X amount of power. But for me, what makes it even more funnier is, you know, when she just straight up blows the other bus driver brains out. Because everybody knows that random violence in anime, it's just hilarious. Now, after she, um, just straight up unalives two people, she gives everybody sage powers, except for a couple few people who the system rejects. And she pretty much tells them, you know, uh, y'all have one month to become a great sage, and if not, then, oh well. So she gives them their first mission and then leaves and their first mission is to pretty much slay a dragon if they can't slay the dragon then they're just dead so the people with the sage power pretty much come to an agreement to leave the people without powers on the bus so the dragon can attack them so once the people with powers leave the dragon like immediately attacks them and kills those two you've seen from the beginning so after denora gives my boy the rundown his first thought isn't yo how's we finna get out of here or like you know maybe we should catch up with the group his first thought is how am i finna charge my switch in another world like, bro, the level of no fucks given is astronomical right here, dude. This is why I love this show. So after they get through talking, they walk off the bus and they see three of their classmates flying towards them. Now the classmates lands in front of them and they're immediately on that option. Like, immediately. Now, of course, Denora gets creeped out and starts to hide behind Yogiri. So, you know, my boy just like, you want me to handle this situation right quick? Like, he points at the leader and just says, die. Now, of course, the two behind him, though, thought this was like a joke until he just fell to the ground and fucking died. So, my boy pretty much told them, yo, if you move, I'm gonna kill you. Now, they must have thought my boy was joking because bro in the right move and got his brain immediately melted because he told him not to move. Now, Yagiri tells the healer of the group, you know, hey, yo, check to make sure they're dead so you know I'm not fucking around with you. Like, I'm, I'll really do this for real. So after the healer verifies that his homies are indeed dead, my boy pretty much breaks down his abilities to him. He pretty much says, like, yo, if I think that you're dead, you're dead. You know what I'm saying? He also says he has a second ability to where he can analyze killer intent. So it's possible for you to die just for having the intent to kill him. You know, and if you still couldn't understand it, you know, I can break it down shorter for you. He's pretty much saying that he's that nigga. You know what I'm saying? No ifs, ands, or buts about it. He's him. And that's a pretty much the end of episode one right there. You know what I'm saying? If that don't make you want to go check out the rest of the series, then bro you're missing out on an extremely good show okay now with that being said that wraps up today's episode if you enjoyed it go ahead and leave a like comment and maybe subscribe because you know it don't cause nothing to show a real one some love it's been your marvelous leader sage mode Rain, and never forget that i'm always hoping that you're having a wonderful day